and welcome to your weekly iGrasp news capsule. Easter egg hunts are proof that we can find what we want if we really want to. So let's get ready and step up to being determined to reach our goal today and every day. The highlights of today's news capsule are Education Minister launches NCERT curriculum based comic books for classes 3 to 12. Ship blocking Swiss Canal freed with help of Egyptian authorities. Beijing launches campaign to stomp out air pollution violations after sandstorm engulf city. Scientists developed artificial cell that grows like a natural one. India beat England in ODI series to clinch fourth series win in a row. And last but definitely not the least, the fun and facts segment. It's now time to begin with the national news segment. Union Minister of Education Dr. Ramesh Pokhriyal Nishank launched NCRT curriculum based comic books last week. These books have been created by the teachers of CBSC affiliated schools with an aim to increase the social and cultural sensitivity among children. As per CBSC, these focus on knowledge, skills, attitudes, values, and transformative competencies for holistic learning. The comic books have been developed for classes 3 to 12 in 16 different subjects. Each comic book consists of concise chapters followed by worksheets. Hmm, comic books do sound very interesting, isn't it, I Graspers? India and its neighbour Bangladesh have decided to celebrate December 6th as Maitri Divas, which is the day India formally recognised Bangladesh as a sovereign nation way back in 1971. I grasp us, did you know that a man named Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was instrumental in Bangladesh gaining its independence from Pakistan? Rahman, just like Gandhi, believed in non-violence and made several social, political and economic transformations to the country of Bangladesh. Prime Minister Modi, who is currently in Dhaka, has even invited 50 young entrepreneurs from Bangladesh to visit India so that they can present their ideas to venture capitalists in the country. Did you know, I graspers, that the Suez Canal is one of the busiest trade routes in the world, with it connecting Europe and Asia and hundreds of ships passing through it every day. Well, similar to a traffic jam, there was a bit of a crisis in the canal last week where the ship MV Evergreen, which is longer than four football fields, got stuck diagonally across the narrow canal. This created a lot of chaos in global trade, even with oil prices fluctuating over the last few days. Thankfully though, with the help of Egyptian forces, several tugboats were employed to help the ship turn and unblock the canal. Experts, however, warn that even though the crisis has been solved, it will have a ripple effect on global trade all the way till 2022 as it has created a backlog of several shipments. I grasp first. Have you ever wondered how astronauts in space grow their own food in such extreme conditions? Well, a process that so far has been very difficult has potentially become easier with the discovery of a novel bacterial strain on the International Space Station. This new strain may help in creating a certain kind of compound for plants that will help them grow in extreme conditions of space. Studying the strain revealed that it contained genes that aid in plant growth. The strain has been named after the renowned Indian biodiversity scientist Dr. Ajmal Khan and is called Methylobacterium ajmali. The basic building block of life is a cell and now scientists have found a way to develop an artificial one that acts and grows like a natural one. Now while the science behind this phenomenon is very complicated, what we can tell you is that the cell follows instructions based on what genes it possesses. 
Scientists therefore have found the right combination of genes for this artificial cell to exist and to reproduce itself. Isn't science fascinating, eye graspers? Beijing has witnessed one of the worst sandstorms in the city's history, with its local government taking a strong stance on air pollution violations by companies. Around the middle of March, the city was lashed with strong winds carrying dust particles from Mongolia and Northwest China, with the Chinese Weather Bureau terming it the biggest sandstorm of the decade. While outside factors were the primary cause of the sandstorm, according to official sources, the local government has stated that it is committed to carrying out inspections of all local construction sites, with them punishing defaulters for allowing construction dust to get out as well as unpunctual clearance of waste. Hi graspers! Did you know that in order to feed livestock, farmers have to go through a lot of resources. Usually, farmers either feed their animals fish, milk or soy, both requiring a tremendous amount of resources to produce. A UK company, however, seems to have solved this problem by figuring out a way to convert carbon dioxide into protein. This is much more cheaper and more sustainable, but it uses excessive CO2 emissions from the factories. It is innovative, isn't it, iGraspers? iGraspers, have you seen the movie Finding Nemo? In a very interesting discovery, a charming new species of peacock spider, which is native to Australia, has been named after the Pixar character Nemo, which was a clownfish in the movie Finding Nemo. It has a vibrant orange face with white stripes and is only about the size of a grain of rice. This new species is unique because it lives in wetland on marshy vegetation. Peacock spiders are popularly known for their elaborate dances. India finished the shooting World Cup in the number one position, securing 30 medals out of which 15 of them were gold. They were miles ahead of the second and third countries USA and Italy, with them having 8 and 4 medals respectively. India dominated the ISSF in a host of pistol and rifle categories with both the men and women stepping up to get the gold. With the Olympics around the corner, here's hoping that the Indian shooters will do us proud in Tokyo as well. India beat England in a nail-biting finish in the final ODI to clinch the ODI Series 2-1. England's Sam Curran tried his best to take the visitors over the finish line, chasing a total of 329. But T. Natarajan kept his cool and didn't let England get 13 runs of the final over to snatch the series victory. Rishabh Pant and Hardik Pandya have been starred with the bat to get India to a competitive total with the England batsmen unable to step up in the series decider, with Bhuvneshwar Kumar dismissing both the English openers in his first two overs. The Indian team has now won the past four series it has played and looks to be in good form, heading into the season's hiatus due to the IPL. Way to go Team India, we are proud of you. The state of Manipur has a very interesting way of celebrating Holi, a sports festival. The festival is named Yaushan and involves all the usual Holi celebrations with pichkaris, water balloons and colour, but also adds competitive sports to the mix. These sports range from spoon racing, mathematical racing, tug of war, football and many others. The festival occurs at the Kangla Fort in Manipur and has no age or gender restrictions for the activities. So, how did you celebrate your holy eye graspers? Do let us know in the comment section below. A Nagpur man named Jayant Jayaprakash Tuble has become the second fastest person to swim across the Palk Strait. The Palk Strait is a stretch between India and Sri Lanka that covers a distance of 29 kilometers, which Tuble had completed in 9 hours and 20 minutes. This swimming expedition was done 
to spread the message of friendship between Sri Lanka and India. Dubey has always been an avid and an active swimmer with him completing the world's largest 81 km swimming competition in just 12 hours and 29 minutes where he stood 7th overall. Taranjit Singh Sandhu, the current Indian ambassador to the United States, shared the video of US Navy members singing "Ye Jo Desh Hai Mera" from the movie Swadesh at a dinner meeting with the US Chief of Naval Operations, Michael M. Gilday. The ambassador shared the video on Twitter, a social network platform. The video shared by the ambassador got about 196k views and more than about 14.9k people liked it. I grasp us. Let's salute our nation for the respect it receives globally for its rich heritage and culture. The riddle of the week is what did the calculator say to the math book? You are full of problems. Harappa, the archaeological site in Pakistan, known for the most developed civilizations in the old Bronze Ages, is back in the news. The recent excavation in Rajasthan has revealed that the Harappan inhabitants consumed high-protein, multi-grain ladoos around 4,000 years ago. This indicates that the Harappans practiced agriculture under wet and good climatic conditions to have sown such grains. These food balls dating back to 2600 BCE were found well preserved since a hard structure had fallen on top acting like a roof over them. However, a peculiar thing about these ladoos is that when it came in contact with water, the slurry turned purple. The samples of these ladoos have been handed over for scientific analysis. The word of the week is legacy. which means something handed down from the past books are a legacy that we must pass on to the next generation by encouraging reading can you guess who this martial artist and actor from hong kong has produced directed choreographed and sung for many movies this huge film star is known for his unique acrobatic fighting style, comic timing and exciting stunts. He has stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and the Hong Kong Avenue of Stars. Yes, you guessed it. He is Jackie Chan. Did you know that a series of Japanese video games have been created based on several of Chan's films? Did you know that 97% of Earth's water is salt water? Yes. Found in oceans, the salinity or salt content varies from place to place. The Atlantic Ocean is more salty than the Pacific Ocean. Quiz time. Where can you find the saltiest water on earth? Send your answers to contact us at igrasp.com. Answer for the last week's quiz. Above the equator or in the northern hemisphere tornadoes usually spin in counterclockwise direction below the equator they usually spin in clockwise direction This certificate of appreciation is presented to Debashish Sarkar of Tagore International School for successfully participating in the weekly quiz on India's leading news capsule for tweens. I grasp. I graspers, this week we bring you the graveyard book by Neil Gaiman, listed by Time magazine amongst the 100 best young adult books of all time. This spooky book will send shivers down your spine. Nobody Owens is an orphan raised by ghosts in a graveyard. His spooky family gives him powers and the ability to pass through solid objects, teach him how to fade, haunt as well as dream walk. 
Wow, this book is replete with scary adventures you must embark on to iGraspers. Read the book and share a fun feedback on iGrasp.com forward slash iClub. This brings us to the end of our news wrap. No one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Until we meet again, stay confident, respect yourself and keep walking ahead with your head held high. See you next week. Bye-bye.